And welcome to New Jersey Now. I'm Harry Martin. Coming up today, Hip Hop for a Cause. We're going to be hearing how members of the hip hop community are coming together here in the Garden State to help find a cure for breast cancer. But first, the tale of two economies. Coming up next, Hip Hop for a Cause. Why some of the biggest names in rap are coming together to help find a cure for breast cancer when we come right back to this. And welcome back. As you probably know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one group that is coming together in full force is the hip-hop community. They're getting the word out as part of a campaign to help find a cure for breast cancer, and it is all in the name of Mama Luke. Well, I'm here go, Mr. Sophisticator. As far as I know, ain't nobody greater from beginning to end and to beginning. Never lose, cause I'm all about winning, but if I was to lose, I wouldn't be upset, cause I'm not a gambler, I don't bet, I don't be in no casino, what? baby, her your nizzle, is I is the Grizz, ain't Kizz, ain't Gizzo. I know that guy, here to tell us more is legendary hip-hop artist Kangol Kid of UTFO fame and Shonda Lumpkin, who lost her mother and her grandmother to breast cancer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank so you. good to see you. Thank so you, good man. to see you. Yes, Shonda, you. Let, me, let me start out with you. You lost your mom yes. to breast cancer, yes. and that's where this whole thing yes. really started, isn't it? Actually, my mom walked for 12 years with the American Cancer Society before she was even diagnosed. We walked in memory of my grandmother. And um, unfortunately, we found out my mom had been diagnosed with stage 2A breast cancer. And in a matter of three years, it became more aggressive and we lost her in May of 2010. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, yes. but something good has yes. come of it here. And that's, yes. that's what I think is so positive. Yes. When, when you think of hip hop music, you don't necessarily think of breast cancer awareness in the, in the same sentence. So how did that all evolve? Well, I mean, you know, we all, everyone's been affected by this. Mm -hmm. Every community, every race has been affected by this disease called breast cancer. Um, it took for something like this to happen in, in my world. In my, in my, you know, Mama Luke was like, a, a, she was my play mom. Mm -hmm. She was her real mom, my yeah. play mom. And, uh, you know, when this took place, I, j I just jumped into action. I didn't want to do the woe is me and, you know, yeah. wow, you know, we lost her. What do we do now? It's like, no, we can so do something So you decided now. to turn it into a positive. Absolutely. This was not something, I mean, even though you mourned and you certainly were, you know, very saddened by the events, right? I, I reached you out decided to, my, to get going. I, I reached out to my first line of defense, mm -hmm. which is hip hop. You know, 30 years, this is what I've been doing. So I asked them to assist me. How, to make how, this how have they embraced it? How, I mean, when you talk about the hip hop community, I mean, that's a, a very large community and it's a very, you know, musically diverse community too, Well, right? look, we're all mature now. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did this 30 years ago, we were all teenagers. Right. And so they are affected by this as well. There are members of the community, you know, Kid Rock lost his sister. Uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot lost his. Uh, there's a lot of artists in this industry. You know, Lisa Lisa's a breast cancer survivor. Roxanne Shantae is a breast cancer survivor. There's a lot of individuals in this community who's been affected as well. So this was an opportunity for them to do something. Yeah. Shonda, I, I, I don't want to get too personal here, but I mean, you know, having lost your grandmother, having lost your mom, how, what about you? I mean, is there a hereditary genetic well, component to this that you know, maybe gives you a well, bit of a pause that you want to tell others about as well? Well, there are studies that are in place and there are, di there are different things that we can do to test for that. Um, I know that insurance currently doesn't cover it. It's right. an extra cost. Um, what I do is I hold on to my faith, first of all. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I definitely do my mammograms. I've been doing them since I was 35. Um, the average age is 40. Mm -hmm. I started early because I knew this disease was in my family. I also do my monthly breast, breast exams and I've taught my daughter how to do it. And she's only 11. Mm -hmm. And so it's one of those things where our family is being very proactive about about it. Uh, we're making sure that we are proactive and that we learn more about breast cancer in hopes of no one else getting it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the, that's the goal. Before we run out of time here, I know you have a special t-shirt and this t-shirt yes. has taken you how long to get all of these? For three years now. Autographs I've on here? I've reached out to my hip hop community. Wow. And uh, every hip hop artist, every notable hip hop artist that I've come across has signed this shirt right here. You see Flavor Flav is in the center. Uh, Kid Rock is here as well. Ice T's in the back. And this is front and back. Wow. And so, and here's the back So how here. many, how many uh, artists do you have on here? Uh, it's probably about 200 artists on here. 200? Thus far. So how, do, how does this, uh, how does the t-shirt enter into the, the whole mix here? Well, you know, this is the shirt that we wore the first year that we walked for the American Cancer Society. And uh, a few artists, Roxanne Shantae, Joe Ski Love, Dana Dane, Force and D's, all of us artists walked together. And after the walk, we took one particular shirt, this shirt, uh -huh. and we all signed the shirt. And every artist we've, we've come across thereafter said, you know, I want to put my, my name on the shirt as well. So the intention is to auction this 
off in the future, and the money generated from this will definitely, you know, proceeds will definitely benefit the American Cancer Society. How many more uh, autographs? How well, many we got to get some more. You know, got to get Jay Z. Where can put them? I mean, we, we, look, I don't <laughs> care if it's a, I don't there. care if it's a, uh, initial. Yeah. You know, we yeah. definitely want to make sure everyone is represented on this. So we want to get some of the bigger names right now. Uh, not bigger. I mean, some some big names. Uh, Jay Z, of course. Sure. Uh, Latifah. We definitely want to get Queen Latifah on there. Uh, Fifty Cent. There's a few other names that we want to make sure that they're represented on this before we go into the auction mode. Wow. This, I mean, this sounds like such a great idea. This whole awareness, breast cancer awareness, has really gained a lot of momentum. Yes. And, you know, you should be very proud that you're both involved in this and, you know, helping with that kind of momentum. What is it you want to tell? We have about maybe a minute left here. What is it you want to tell people about the most important thing? Uh, involving this awareness kind of the with most breast important thing is self breast exams and getting mammograms mm -hmm. that is uh, it's key it's preventative and I'll tell you this the earlier uh, breast cancer is detected the better chance you have sure the better chance. I mean my mom did, hers was detected very early um, but for unfortunately she was a triple negative diagnosis and that's a very very aggressive form of breast cancer and um, you know it just was her time, it was her season. Uh, for everyone else, I want to encourage them to be proactive and take care of their health into their own hands. My mom found her own lump, mm -hmm. and um, I think that really helped her to survive as long as she did That's with right. the disease. Well, we thank you very much. This is such a worthy cause. You, you guys do such great work, and you should thank be you. so, so proud. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, the Mama Luke movement is going to be uh, taking part in the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. This is in Newark on Sunday. It's October the 21st. And for more information, all you have to do is log on to our website, my9tv.com. Now, if you have any ideas, any topics that you would like to see discussed, you can log on to my9tv.com and click on the public affairs link. We want to hear from you. And you can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's going to